things have become extremely bullish. We're talking about the United States Securities and Exchange Commission literally proposing a settlement offer to Ripple Labs, giving them exactly what they want. So for the people that expect $150 per XRP to actually happen in the next couple weeks or months, it is now feasible as crypto analysts says XRP is still on course to rise to that $150 mark. And this wouldn't be the first time that the SEC has actually offered Ripple Labs a settlement because it did so back on October 26, 2023, and then on July 1st of 2024, with Ripple denying all three. But this time it's a bit different because Ripple has officially put out this statement, or the Ripple CEO, saying that we have always said that we would love to settle. But it requires one very important thing, and that is that on a go-forward basis, it's clear that XRP is not a security. And they got exactly that in the previous ruling, so it really makes sense that while today they get a new settlement offer, this may be the offer that Ripple CEO Brad Gerlinghouse actually ends up accepting. In a report that was literally posted just a couple hours ago, it says Ripple lawsuit could settle soon, says Brad Gerlinghouse, as XRP trades at around 0 0.60 cents. So if you own any XRP, you may actually become a multi-millionaire in the next couple of weeks as XRP rises to $150. This is the time, guys, when it does rise to take profits. I always emphasize taking profits when it hits at $10, at $15, 20 25 all the way up to $150. $150 will literally potentially make you a multi-millionaire. Now, of course, as we talk about $150 per XRP, we are doing a massive XRP giveaway to the Crypto Geek family. It's extremely easy to enter. All you have to do is tap the like button, subscribe to the channel with your post notifications, and share this video. Again, XRP is up about 1% uh, percent in the last 24 hours. The volume up 50%, guys, absolutely fantastic at 2.2 billion in the last 24 hours. And we also have to announce our massive partnership with MetalCrypt.com where you can get your own personalized gold Ripple XRP coin and your own personal XRP apparel like the Ripple XRP door carpet, XRP phone cases, XRP socks, hoodies, caps, and so much more. And it's not just XRP apparel, but also Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum, Litecoin, Polkadot, Jasmine, and a bunch of other cryptocurrency apparels. And you guys will get $10 off if you do use my promo code FREE10. Guys, they're literally less than 15 USD for a Rebel XRP gold coin. Socks are like 10 bucks. But if you do use my code, your $10 socks, $10.89 socks, are going to get discounted to only $0.89. Cents literally cheaper than a normal pair of socks but these are good quality and they're custom xrp socks same goes for the personalized ripple xrp gold coin literally less than five dollars the case is less than five dollars this is the chance of a lifetime so make sure you guys do check them out the link will be in the description take advantage of the promo code because it will be ending soon so metalcrypto.com the links will be in the description get you guys your own personal ripple xrp gold coin i recommend it i am my own personally i'll tell you that clear and own multiple of these one in my car one in my office all over the place now of course let's get into the many people are shocked that xrp is on course to hit 150 dollars in the next month or so but it's not that crazy because when you go back and you recall what is about to happen once settlement is over well it will remind you that xrp won't be 150 dollars it will probably be in the thousands upon thousands of dollars in fact look at this posted on july 23rd 2024 on fox news and here's what it says after ripple wins the sec lawsuit we'll see ripple ipo and an xrp in 2025 and if you look here there is proof fox news releases that ripple has said it's confident it's going to win the lawsuit and will ipo after a possible positive outcome and that's not all because why Watcher Guru, with literally over 2.4 million followers on Twitter, says that Ripple CEO Bart Gerlinger says he expects a spot XRP ETF in 2025. Remember this, guys. Literally, the price of the XRP ETP, which is nothing even close to the real value of an XRP ETF, that came out started at $25. This is solely an XRP ETP. Imagine an XRP ETF. People are saying $150 instantly upon the XRP ETF not including even Ripple IPO. So add that in, we're probably already at $250, $260. Add into the fact that Ripple again emphasized that they are going to go ahead and not just IPO all over the world, but they're going to IPO in the States after Gary Gensler is out of his seat. What does this mean? Well, I'm going to roll this clip for you and then show you guys 
that Gary Gensler is going to resign and that the XRP ETF in the Ripple IPO is going to happen. It is guaranteed and Congress is looking to work with Ripple for it. And I think that's been quite clear because of the Trump administration. Again, we're going to go tell you guys more about this, including a video clip where Trump talks about Gary Gensler, how he wants him removed, and Trump's vice president says, we are going to stand basically with XRP and Ripple, get Gary Gensler out of the SEC spot because he is battling Ripple and XRP. So let's roll this clip first, and then we'll jump right into that. Do you want to go public? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> my pause is, look, today, sitting here, Gary Gensler is the chair of the United States SEC. I'm not really popular inside the offices of the SEC, as you might imagine. Well, the NICE president was in that chair yesterday, and she said that she welcomed applicants uh, from the crypto ecosystem, IPO markets heating back up. Lynn Martin, I think, is a progressive example of where we should be. That's not where Gary Gensler is. And so the, the SEC has to approve an S1. Going public in the United States for Ripple right now, I don't think makes any sense. Uh, I think Coinbase, as a public company in the United States, probably regrets that decision. Uh, we've looked at, you know, would we consider going public outside the United States? That, of course, is uh, in the possibilities. Right now, it's just not on our immediate term uh, agenda. Last year at this time, I was talking to Coinbase about their Wells notice and uh, legal fight with the SEC. It was a much different atmosphere. Now, you literally have heard Brad Gellinger say that they will IPO in the States if Gary Gensler is out of the chair. And of course, a leak has recently revealed that the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, will resign due to XRP. And more specifically, due to Donald Trump and his vice president talking about how Gary Gensler is the worst person because of his crypto policies and the Ripple XRP lawsuit. Listen to J.D. Vance, the vice president of the Donald Trump administration, or President Trump when he does get elected, and what he plans to do with Gary Gensler. He's going to forcefully make him resign and settle all the cases. Let's roll the clip. The worst person, in my view, at least in terms of my substantive degrees, you know, disagreements, I'm sure he's like a nice guy, uh, is Gary Gensler. Okay, so Gary Gensler is sort of the complete opposite of my view. And there are two problems that I have with Gary. Uh, one of which is that I think he wants to inject politics way too much into the actual business of securities in the United States of America. But uh, the, the, in some ways, the more fundamental issue, or at least the most relevant issue uh, for, for this particular conference is you, the, the approach that Gary has taken to regulating blockchain and crypto uh, seems to be almost the exact opposite of what it should be. Uh, it, you know, and I'm oversimplifying a little bit, but the question the SEC seems to ask in regulating crypto is, is this a token with utility? And if it's a question, if it's a token with utility, then they seem to want to ban it. And if it's a token without utility, they don't seem to care. I almost think we should be the opposite here, right? I worry about financialization. I worry about, frankly, whether a lot of the crypto stuff is fundamentally fake. But if a token actually has utility, that's the sort of thing that, you know, by all means, regulate it. By all means, be careful about, you know, how consumers interact with it. But you don't want to just get rid of this stuff. And, and here's where I really, really worry about this is a lot of the newest challengers to social media, the social media incumbents of 2024 are going to require some blockchain technology to make their to make their business work. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe they'll require a, 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 a token that supports verification. Um, there are all of these ways in which the companies, when I talk to sort of friends who are still in the VC industry, the companies that are most exciting to them, they're doing actual things in communications in the 21st century, in 2024, I should say, those companies very often rely on high utility tokens to do things like verification. Well, if we're not making it possible to do verification, then we're going to make it really hard to challenge the existing inc incumbents in the space. Clearly, Gary Gensler is in a very bad spot. And the only way he can recover is if he ends the Ripple SC lawsuit, settling with them in one way or another, or going ahead and making sure that Ripple is actually going to lose the lawsuit. Which we know is impossible because Ripple has already won basically every single motion, or almost every motion that was in trial with the judge, and they're literally only waiting on trial. So, of course, these are some things to keep in mind, but as always, I'm not a financial advisor, it's not financial advice, and you should always do your own research. And guys, as always, don't forget to check out MetalCrypto.com to get your own personalized Ripple XRP gold coin.
because it is extremely cool. Now, I would love to do it here, guys, by telling you guys to tap the like button, subscribe to the channel with your press notifications, and share this video. As well as, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on all my social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Mumble, which everything will be linked down below in the description. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and peace.